regional tensions over the war in Gaza are escalating with word of a reported deadly Israeli airstrike in Syria. The targets, Iran's embassy in the capital, Damascus, and several members of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps. Journalist Alex Kadier is in Tel Aviv following this developing story for us. Alex, what more can you tell us about these strikes? Well, this was an Israeli airstrike which targeted a building adjacent to the Iranian embassy in uh, Damascus. General Mohammad Reza Zahedi uh, was confirmed dead. He was the commander of the Iranian Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps uh, Quds Brigades, and that means he was in charge of uh, the Revolutionary Guard's operations in Syria and Lebanon, including, the, crucially, the relationship with Hezbollah. We understand his deputy and four other members of the Revolutionary Guard were also killed in the strike. We don't have official confirmation uh, from Israel uh, of being behind the strike, but both Iranian media on the ground uh, and security sources speaking to the Reuters news agency saying that this was an Israeli strike. Now, uh, the general will, will be the most senior Iranian uh, official killed since Qasem Soleimani was killed in the U.S. airstrike in January 2020. So this uh, really will be a very, very high profile uh, hit for the Israelis. And we heard from the ambassador to Iran uh, vowing uh, to in, in uh, Damascus, I should say, vowing for a decisive response. So the real concern now is an escalation between the Hezbollah uh, a militant group backed by Iran in southern Lebanon, who's been fighting with Israeli forces over the last few weeks. That has been simmering. The concern now is that it could blow up into an all-out war. Alex, there are also two important sets of discussions uh, taking place today. One is looking at a potential ceasefire deal, and the other is between Israeli and American officials on a possible ground assault in Rafah. What more can you tell us about those talks? Well, those U.S.-Israeli talks, crucially about that offensive in Rafah, a really clear dividing line between the Israeli government and the Biden administration. Anthony Blinken, the Secretary of State, we've heard him in the last few weeks saying an operation in Rafah without the evacuation of civilians would be a mistake. Uh, and the Israeli Prime Minister just last night saying no amount of U.S. pressure will stop us from going in. So clearly something to be resolved in those, those ongoing virtual talks. The ceasefire talks, meanwhile, mediated in Cairo. Uh, we know from Israeli officials that they have shown what they describe as more flexibility on the return of civilians to northern Gaza. That was one of the crucial sticking points that made Hamas reject the last proposal tabled by the U.S. and accepted by Israel. So perhaps some movement, not sure if it's some progress yet, but some movement on those ceasefire talks. We don't have more detail on the conversations between the U.S. and Israel and Rafa, but certainly uh, both domestically and internationally a lot of pressure on Prime Minister Netanyahu this evening. Journalist Alex Kadia reporting in Tel Aviv.